By the time this video comes out, Jerry should be about to be mayor, or he should be mayor already when you're watching this. But if you haven't already, just vote for Jerry. And if you haven't already, I would recommend watching my previous video on how you can make money with Jerry, because this video is going to be a follow-up on how you can install the best mods to maximize your profit with Jerry. I recommended some mods, but I saw a lot of people had some trouble with installing them and just getting to know how to use them, so this video is my answer to the questions in the comments of that video and just some help on how you can install these mods. So thankfully, there's only really one .jar file you need to install. If you don't already have Forge, I have a complete mod installation guide that I will leave linked down below, just in case you need a little bit of help getting started, and just making sure that you have Forge installed so that you can install this mod. But really, all you need to do is just exit out of the game for now. Then go to chattriggers.com, and you're going to want to first go to Download and then Modules. So let's open Modules in a new tab, and for now, click on Download. So we're going to want to get the stable 1.8.9 version. This will decrease your FPS by a pretty significant amount because it's not super optimized. Uh, I would say that don't do it if you have a super slow computer, but otherwise this is a pretty good option. So get the download like you're seeing up there. Then you're going to want to do Windows key and R and type in percent app data percent slash dot Minecraft like you see on screen right now. Then press OK. I've got it slightly off the screen because I've got some personal information on this left side but it should be all fine for now. So what I would recommend you do is scroll down all the way to where you see mods. So I'm going to find that by right clicking here. And you'll see I've actually got folders for specific games. I'm going to go into 1.8.9. Uh, if you don't, you can just drag it right into the mods folder if we go to 1.8.9. Then you're just going to want to drag in chat triggers from your download folder. So let's put in chat triggers. There you see chat triggers and we'll close out of both of our windows. Now we can go over to modules, and while we're doing this, I would recommend you restart Minecraft. So we're going to press play on Minecraft again on our Forge installation, and we should be good to go soon. While Minecraft is launching, you're going to want to search modules Jerry. Here you'll be able to see a lot of useful mods. Jerry Tracker V2 is actually one of them that we're going to be talking about, or Jerry Tracker, which is a simpler version of the same thing. Then there's also Jerry Timer V2 or Jerry Timer. I would recommend using Jerry Timer because I have not personally tested Jerry Timer 2. If you want to test it out, let me know how it works for you guys, but I'm going to stick to recommending what I've tried, which is Jerry Timer. Now the Jerry Timer is helpful because it will tell you when you are six minutes away from another Jerry and when you are ready to get another Jerry. This will help you maximize when you are grinding your skill XP to get a Jerry, and just make sure you get it when you are supposed to. Now we're going to want to do a slash CT import Jerry timer and press enter. And you'll see we import a Jerry timer. Let's do slash Jerry timer to make sure our settings is correct. You can see we can enable it and move the Jerry timer display. Right now it's right here. I'm going to put it up there. And you'll see it tells me that I am ready to spawn a Jerry. And personally, the Jerry Tracker is not working for some reason for me. So I'm going to CT import the old Jerry Tracker. And then I'm going to run slash Jerry Tracker and press enter. So to edit Jerry Tracker, do slash Jerry Tracker and then press enter. And you'll see enable Jerry Tracker shows Jerry Tracker. We can move it and we can reset it. And we can also edit all of the colors and stuff. Let's do move, and we're going to move it. I don't release. There we go. I see it now. You can move it right up there, and maybe even try to position it right underneath our Jerry timer. And then we'll press escape. And now you'll see it will count how many gold, purple, blue, and green boxes we've gotten. This can just help us measure how much profit we've made during the Jerry event. So I hope this guide on how to install the best mods to maximize your profit in Jerry are helpful. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.